In this video, we have Moto Edge 50 smartphone and in this video, I'll show you some amazing tips and tricks and hidden feature of this smartphone. So watch till the end and enjoy this video. As this phone comes with curved display, there's feature of edge lighting as well. Simply tap and hold on the home screen and then click on personalize. Scroll down and then click on edge light. Here you can select your favorite color. You can set for which you want to show the lights for incoming calls, alarms or app notification. You can also schedule the edge lighting. Now if someone will call you or any notification will come, it will show that cool looking edge lighting on the edge of the screen. By default, this phone doesn't show battery percentage in your status bar. To enable this, simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on battery. Again scroll down, there you will see the option of battery percentage, enable this and then it will start showing your battery percentage in your status bar. If you will try to take a screenshot by your three fingers, it will not take a screenshot but there is a same gesture, simply use your three fingers and then tap and hold on the screen and then it will click a screenshot. If you will long press your power button, then it will enable the Google Assistant app instead of your power menu. If you want to change it to power menu, simply open your settings scroll down and then click on gestures again scroll down there you will see the option of press and hold power button click on this by default it is selected to google assistant you have to set the power menu now if you will long press your power button it will open your power menu if you are in hurry and you want to charge your phone very quickly then there's a feature of charge boost you can also enable this simply open your settings scroll down and then click on battery there you will see the option of charge boost simply click on this and then enable this now it will increase the charging speed and charge your phone very quickly but keep in mind this will also heat up your phone a little bit extra as well. You can also change the fingerprint animation in this smartphone as well. Simply tap and hold on the home screen and then click on personalize. There you will see the option of fingerprint animation. Click on this. Now there are three options. You can select any of these and whenever you will unlock your phone with your fingerprint it will show this animation. This phone comes with 144 Hz of refresh rate, by default it is selected to auto. To get the smoothest experience you have to select the 144 Hz, simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on display, there you will see the option of display refresh rate. Here it is selected to auto, you have to select 144 Hz, now you will experience the smoothest uh, refresh rate and keep in mind this will also consume your battery a little bit extra as well. If you want to increase the life spam of your battery, then you must enable the next feature. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on battery. Again scroll down, there you will see the option of optimize charging. Click on this, click on these two arrow and then click on done. Now enable this and then click on ok. Now it will learn your charging pattern and optimize the charging as well. This will keep the battery to the maximum life and by this you will be able to use your phone a little bit extra as well. You can also enable the next feature to turn on your flashlight easily. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on gestures. Scroll down and there you will see the option of fast torch. Click on this and then enable this. Now whenever you will shake your phone like this, it will turn on your flashlight and if you will shake it again, it will turn it off. So with the help of this feature, you can easily access and turn on your flashlight. While using your smartphone, anytime if you will double press your power button, it will open your camera app and so with the help of this, you can easily access your camera app by just double pressing your power button. But if you want to disable this, simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on gestures. Again scroll down, there you will see the option of double press power key. It is selected to launch camera, you have to select none. Now if you will double press your power button, it will not turn on your camera application. If you want to read the deleted messages from WhatsApp, Instagram, etc., you don't have to download any third party app. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on notification. There you will see the option of notification history. Click on this and then enable this. Now if someone will message you and even if he deletes it, you will see the deleted messages here. With the help of next feature, you will be able to open your favorite apps very conveniently while using your smartphone. Simply open your settings scroll down and then click on gestures there you will see the option of sidebar click on this and then enable this now it will start showing little transparent bar on the right side of the screen now to open your sidebar simply swipe to the left to the sidebar 
click on next and then click on ok as you can see by default these are some apps here if you want to edit it click on settings and then select the apps you want to add here you can also remove any app from this and then go back now if you will open any application from sidebar it will open in floating window just like your desktop and your laptop so you can keep on using your smartphone as usual and you can also use your application from the sidebar as well you can also drag and drop this anywhere and if you want to close it simply click on this cross icon to read ebooks articles etc the next feature is for you simply open your settings scroll down and then click on display scroll down and there you will see the option of screen timeout click on this and on the bottom you will see the option of attentive display enable this now it will prevent your screen from turning off if you are looking at it so it, you don't have to keep on tapping your screen to keep the screen wake up simply enable this attentive display you can also change the ui color of the smartphone and even change the icon shape and size simply tap and hold on the home screen and then click on personalize there you will see the option of colors click on this here you can select your favorite color and then click on save it will take few seconds and after that it will change the ui color of the smartphone now if you want to change the apps shape you can click this app shape and here are four options select your favorite one and then click on save as you can see it will change the shape of the icons in the smartphone if you use your smartphone at night a lot then next three features are especially for you simply open your settings scroll down and then click on accessibility there you will see the option of extra dim enable this now it will dim the screen beyond your phone's minimum brightness so you can enable this one use uh, if you use your phone at night a lot the next one is open your settings and then click on display there you will see the option of dark theme enable this and it will turn all the whites into the blacks so it will keep the strain on the eyes at minimum the third one is in the same display option you will see the option of night light enable this then it will warm the color of the screen little bit and it will keep the strain on the eyes minimum so you can enable these three features if you use your phone at night a lot you can also change this notification bar style as well simply open your settings scroll down and then click on home and lock screen there you will see the option of control center click on this by default it is selected to classic style this one you have to select the modern style now as you can see it will change the control center to this modern style this looks really cool you should use this one if you want to enable this double tap to lock your screen and double tap to wake your screen up feature then simply open your settings scroll down and then click on home and lock screen there you will see the option of lock screen click on this one and then scroll down to the bottom firstly enable this jump to lock screen one now come back and then click on this put the display to sleep and also enable this now whenever you are on home screen simply double tap on the empty area it will lock your phone and double tap on the screen then it will wake your screen up if you want to hide your photos videos documents etc you don't have to download any third party app you can simply do this by using this moto secure folder click on this one then click on secure folder click on allow click on continue click on this arrow and then click on get started it will take few seconds then you have to set a privacy password to secure your secure folder you can select pattern pin and password here I select pattern draw a pattern and then confirm your pattern and again secure your folder then come back and then you can also set a fingerprint lock if you want otherwise click on maybe later click on this plus icon and if you want to add files then click add files and if you want to add your apps then click on add apps here i select add files as i have this screenshot click on this one and then click on move then click on ok as you can see this will move your file here open your files then click on continue click on allow as you can see your photo is hidden in this secure folder so that's how you can hide any application photos videos document etc with the help of this secure folder application if you want to change these three button navigation to gesture navigation open your settings scroll down click on gestures and then click on navigation mode here by default it is selected to three button navigation you have to select gesture navigation now you can go back from swiping from left or right to open recent swipe from the middle bottom and hold it there and if you want to come to home screen simply swipe from the middle bottom 
If you want to use your phone with a single hand, you can easily enable this next feature. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on gestures. Scroll down and there you will see the option of one handed mode. Click on this. Keep in mind, you must be using gesture navigation for this one handed mode, then enable this. Now if you want to use this one hand mode, then, then swipe down from the bottom of the screen like this and it will open the one hand mode. Now you will be able to use your phone with a single hand very conveniently. If you want to exit the one hand mode, then simply tap on the empty area. If you will open the camera app, then the aspect ratio is selected to 3 ratio 4 and if you will click any photo, it will also click in this aspect ratio. But if you want to change it to full screen, click on these 3 ratio 4 and then select this icon. As you can see, your camera app has turned into full. Now click any photo, it will also click in full screen. You can also use two applications at the same time in a single screen. Firstly, open the applications you want to use and then put it in recent. I want to use Play Store and Chrome at the same time. Now open any application, put it in recent and then click on this apps icon. There you will see the option of split top and now select the second application. As you can see, you will be able to use two applications at the same time in a single. So these were some tips and tricks and hidden feature of Moto Edge 50 smartphone. If you like this video, then let us know in the comment section. We'll see you in the next one. Till then, have fun and keep on exploring your smartphone.